Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you our year one of Ambleside online books and curriculum that we'll be using. Some of this I have changed around a little bit just because of my inability to find a cost effective route to get some of the books. So I'm really excited to share with you what I have come up with today. So first we have our Bible curriculum. I'm going to be using, in addition to our regular Bible, this beautiful, beautiful Bible stories. And it really is beautiful. Let me find some of the pictures to share. So here is just the title page. You can see it's just really nice. Um, I'd actually like to look and see what year these were written in and illustrated in. But these are very kid friendly without leaving out any of the important parts. Um, just great illustrations for the kids and very, um, very good language and verse used in this. So in addition to our Bible, we'll also be doing that and hymns. Now for history, we will be using Trial and Triumph. I'm just going to kind of breeze through and just share everything that we're going to be using because we haven't started into it yet. Our Island Story, 50 Famous Stories Retold, Viking Tales. We will be using this for Benjamin Franklin. I'm really excited about this one. I did read through this very quickly and it's very nice. Um, it's done. There's some illustrations. There's some more illustrations. I did really like that one. In my previous video I showed Marco Polo, which I believe is um, possibly by the same person as this, and this is The Adventures of George Washington. Um, this one, again, I had a few George Washington um, books that I had picked up, but I like this one the most just because of the, the way the story was laid out. It was just very well done. And I have this one here because I could not find the Dallaire book about Buffalo Bill, but I do have this um, anthology, I guess you would call it, of stories. And in it, lo and behold, is, can you see that? Buffalo Bill. So we'll be using this to get through some of the Buffalo Bill. Now I'm sure that this is abbreviated a little bit, so why not add in a Dallaire book? And here we go, from my haul. We have Columbus. So we'll be learning about Columbus some this year. Next, I'm gonna go into our, go into our um, natural history and geography. We have Paddle to the Sea. This is by Holly, Holly, Holling, Clancy Holling. And in it, I have shoved, I printed some of these maps to use to go along with Paddle to the Sea. So we'll be filling these in as we work our way through the book throughout this year. And then I also, because I just don't like reading, from the computer, I figured I would go ahead and print um, the elementary geography. This is by Charlotte Mason, I believe. So I went ahead and printed that so I don't have to read it. And then I also printed the long home geography. And I just printed off what we're going to be using for the year. Just to make life a wee bit easier and to be a little bit easier on my eyes because let's face it our eyes are not getting any younger next for nature study i'm really excited for this i've seen this um at a at a um 
Oh my goodness, what's the word? And a nature reserve that we go to, and I've seen several copies of this there. So I'm really excited that I bought my own, and we'll be using this um, throughout the year. Um, I was kind of nervous looking through it. I read the beginning. It kind of tells you about the um, the teaching of nature study, and it goes over how you should go go towards um, nature study and the things that you should be doing. Kind of nervous about finding all the things. Um, we're going to be doing invertebrates this year and then rocks and uh, minerals and soil and then finally in the spring we'll be doing fish. Um, so fish will be easy because I'll just send my husband out fishing with the kids and we can call it a day. <laughs> we'll go a little bit more in depth of course than that but you get the idea. So then we also have the Burgess Bird Book. Now to go with this, I'm not sure if they're laying around anywhere, I have printed out cards with each one of the birds throughout this book in it. Um, there are some illustrations, they're not in color or anything like that, so I really want to use this along with those bird cards that I printed out for identification purposes. And then we'll also listen to the songs of the different birds that we're learning about. Final thing for this, for nature study, is the um, James Harriet's Treasury for Children. Can't really see that. Okay, I bought this used, so it didn't come with the dust jacket. But I don't care because I got a really good deal. So... There you can see what it is. There it is. And this book is just so wonderful. Very kid friendly. Very beautiful pictures. So that, that I'm sure will be a favorite amongst us. So on to math. For math, I'm planning on using Life of Fred. Now we started into apples last year, so my goal is to finish that up fairly quickly and we'll go into butterflies and then into cats. And finally, I'm gonna finish up the year by doing Life of Fred dogs. So there is our math. Now I'm gonna be doing the Life of Fred probably about um, four days a week. One day we'll read it, one day we'll kind of go over what we read, like the questions, and make sure we answered those correctly. And then um, we will, on Wednesdays, my goal is to do some hands-on math with the kids. Um, so the way Life of Fred is set up, in case you're not familiar, is you read the little story at the end of the story there are questions so in order to move on you have to be able to answer these questions and then guess what there's the answers <laughs> so if anybody has a hard time figuring out the math the answers are in the back which is good um, so for language, I'm going to mostly be using like some YouTube and stuff like that. Um, for my previous video, if you watched that, you know we're going to be doing French this year and learning some French. I picked this up at a used book sale and it did come with the CD. So I figured that we can use this Let's Sing and Learn in French to pick up some great language lessons. Next, we'll go into poetry. And for poetry, we're going to be using a child's garden of verses. We have um, Now We Are Six and When We Were Very Young by A.A. A. Mile. Be using those. Next, I have this one because this is what I could find and I don't want to read uh, from the computer. I'm really fussy about that. So this is the Illustrated Treasury of Poetry for Children. Um, I was happy with it. It's illustrated. There's some, the illustrations aren't like anything to write home about by any stretch of the imagination. But they're there. So um, we'll be using that. And then on to, um, I think one of my favorite things, and that is literature. I'm really excited for that. So we have the Aesop for Children, 
We have my schedule set up. We're going to be doing ASOP every single Friday. Um, and I will be posting another video about how I have that set up, how I have our schedule set up, and how I plan to fit everything in. We also have Tales from Shakespeare. The Blue Fairy Book. I'm really excited for this one. Um, some of the stories seem to be a little bit scary for my daughter, but they're good stories. We gotta read them. And then we have Just So Stories. And finally, for literature, we have Parables from Nature. I'm really excited about this one. I've heard mixed reviews on what people have thought of it, but I am super duper excited. Next, some of the free reads that I picked up. Some of these I just plan on checking out from the library whenever we have time, and some of them we have in our collection. So we have The Velveteen Rabbit. Um, instead of reading Charlotte's Web, because we read that this past spring before we went to go see a play done by, about Charlotte's Web, I'm going to instead read The Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. We have Peter Pan and Little House in the Big Woods. This is the first um, book in the Little House series. So I really want to go through all of them. I was thinking about picking up the Prairie Primer, but I'm not 100% sure. I may just try to find activities and different lessons to go along with it um, online, on Pinterest, whatever. Now, to round out our curriculum, we're going to be doing things like music and art and um, just different things like that, handicrafts, fun things like that. So for art, I went ahead and I printed for the entire year the pictures, or the paintings, I should say, the paintings that we will be studying. And I just printed them on cardstock laminated them and that's going to be good enough for us for this year so that is what it is now i also the first um artist that we'll be learning about is mary cassett from my last video you saw these wonderful books that i picked up now i have an almost one year old so i'm super excited for this i think we're going to learn some lullabies for him and check out the awesome paintings while we're doing it um, I also plan on reading Viking Times, growing up in Viking Times to the kids because they have no clue. My six-year-old, my almost six-year-old has no clue about Vikings. So we're going to learn about Vikings and read Viking tales. This is because we don't know very much about Shakespeare. So we're going to build a globe theater this year and we're going to read a little bit about his life. Um, for phonics. I'm really struggling with phonics because my daughter can read so well already and she'll be six at the end of September. So I have decided I'm just going to kind of pull little things from here and there like these books that I picked up. I'm just going to use things like that to kind of supplement with phonics and she'll pick up some from her copy work I'm sure. Come here Babu. Um, lastly, I have this Telling Time book that I'm going to use for supplementing with The Life of Fred. And I have a lot of stuff like this. We'll be doing lots and lots of stuff on hands-on. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be using, at least to start off with, just to see kind of how it works out, because it seems very involved, because I went through and I printed everything out that we would need for easy peasy um, for reading and phonics, but I am not quite so sure that we're actually going to be following through with easy peasy because it seems very involved. Um, and like it could take a lot more than the 15 to 20 minutes that I have set aside each day for phonics and copy work. So we'll just have to kind of play that by ear and see how that goes. But I'm really looking forward to this year and I think we have a lot of really great living books and things for the kids to learn from and I'm just excited to see how it goes. So I'm going to have, I have one, my daughter who's my oldest, she'll be turning six at the end of September. So we'll be doing Ambleside Online year one with her. This is her curriculum that you saw. Now in addition to that, I have this little guy who is almost one. 
And then I have my just turned four year old. And with him, we're just gonna be reading some really great books. We might do some hands on math and just do school a little bit, just to make him feel very involved with it and ease him into the idea of it. I am not pushy. Whenever kids are that young, I'm just not that pushy. Now, in addition to all this, we're also having um, a co-op that we will be working with um, twice a month, probably. And we mainly do science stuff with them, nature stuff, a little bit of history. So that'll be in addition to what we're doing on our own. So I am just really excited to be starting into this and I will keep you all posted on how all of this goes. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about this and about other things, um, feel free to subscribe if you like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'm hoping to be making lots more videos. Thanks.